Hello, I'm Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to save yourself some money by making your own Z hanger brackets. The idea behind a Z hanger bracket is that you have one bar, kind of like this, that is mounted onto the wall and a second piece, similarly, that goes on your picture or your mirror or whatever it is you're trying to mount it slides on top of each other and locks into place usually these mounts are pretty expensive for a wall mounting system uh, ranging from anywhere between ten dollars for a very small one up to forty dollars for some of the larger ones um, I was looking at them and I noticed they look a lot like a piece of carpet transition so I went to the hardware store picked up a six foot piece of transition for about twelve dollars and I've cut it down into bracket size chunks. Now essentially all you're gonna have to do is drill a few holes in it so that you can screw one side onto your wall and then drill a few more so you can screw the other side into your frame of whatever it is you're trying to hang. Now you, you pretty much just cut it to whatever length you want. The idea behind the Z hanger bracket is that you can level the bracket on the wall, level the bracket end that you're attaching to your picture or your mirror and then when you put them together it's already going to be level and you can adjust it back and forth get it exactly where you want at the right height and have it be leveled without having to punch a bunch of holes in the wall or do a bunch of crazy measurements now the system does work and i'm going to show you you know essentially what you need to do but it, like i said it's pretty easy you just cut it and drill some holes so like i said this is a very simple process just cut it down to the length you want Drill holes on each end, and maybe one in the middle if you've got a really long piece or you're hanging something really big. Attach one side to the frame or whatever it is that you're hanging up. Make sure that it's level. Attach one into the wall. Make sure that it's level. And if you're hanging something heavy, go ahead and put in some wall anchors. All you have to do is fine tune the placement and just double check to make sure that it is indeed level on the wall. As always, you'll find links in the description to tools and products that I used in this video. I actually did find some transition strip on Amazon for about half the price you'll get it at the hardware store. So this will really save a lot of money if you decide to make your own instead of buying brackets pre-made. Of course, if you like the idea of the hanging system but don't want to make it yourself, I've also provided links on Amazon to Z hanger or French cleat systems that you can purchase and use right away. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. The rest of the video is showing me doing the same process for a few other things I needed to hang around the house.